how to folks you're watching deuce and today i'm going to review this hatchet now i came across this store on the internet uh, called the commando store i'll leave a link in the comments below the video and what they have is a they have several tools several surplus th items available along with this swiss made surplus hatchet it has swiss steel so it's supposed to be very high quality now i do not have personal experience with Swiss steel. I do have personal experience with Swedish steel. Very high quality. It's Husfarna, Husfarna <laughs> axe and hatchet. Fantastic quality. The steel is, is the best I've ever dealt with, honestly. And the Swiss made steel is supposed to be as good. I can't vouch for that just yet, but that's what I've heard. So, $20 hatchet from Commando Store, how good is it? Well, let's take a closer look. Now, number one, it is not sharp. It, it's, I mean, it's sharpened to a point, but you're gonna find about the same sharpness from a Home Depot Lowe's option. So expect that you're gonna have to sharpen it out of the box. The whole thing has been dipped in lacquer. So I'm not super thrilled about that, but it's probably the only way to keep this thing from rusting and they're in the environment, the storage environment to have in there surplus warehouses overseas. So I guess that's good that they did that because it would not be available to me today. But that leaves a handle that's slick, hard to deal with, and it's gonna be rough on your hands until you uh, scrape all that off. And of course, the, the lacquer up here you're gonna have to be, well, you'll take that off anyway when you sharpen it. And now let's talk about that handle itself. Number one, it is straight as an arrow with the tiniest, tiniest bit of palm swell. I and mean, there's a little bit there, but it's not nearly what I would consider adequate for a palm swell. That is a good palm swell right there. You really feel that, that is really good right there to hold on and to go ahead and use. This right here, you're, it's gonna tire you out more. This is not a, it's not a well thought out handle. It really is not. This is much, much better. When you choose your wood grain for your handle, if I can get some light on that there. You can see the wood grain here is completely parallel to the blade itself. So the wood grain's going this way. That's perfect. Now, a lot of people put too much emphasis on the wood grain orientation. A 45 degree angle would be just fine as well. It's not as big of a deal as some people put it, but it is something to keep in mind when choosing a handle for a ax project. You look at that grain there, it is almost horizontal, <laughs> perpendicular to the blade itself. It comes in and it goes up. So this was, this was cut out of a very small tree versus, versus this was cut out of a much larger tree. So you have much straighter grain. This was, I mean, that tree was probably about that big. And you can see the growth rings right there going through at an angle and then curving up. That's gonna be a weak point in this handle. Now again, it's not sharpened yet, so there's no telling how it's gonna cut, probably like crap. Let's find out here. Uh, let's see, I got, I've got a lot of little trees and limbs I gotta take down, so why not? Timber. <laughs> there we go, okay. Alrighty, so what do we learn about this hatchet? Well, it's really, really dull. The grip isn't as bad as I expected. It's not good, it's not great, but it's not as bad as I expected. Wear gloves, you're definitely gonna wanna wear gloves when you're using this. But let's go ahead and sharpen this up and see what happens then. Not only did I buy a hatchet from the Commando store, I also bought Ivan's Fiery Grads. What's funny is the label just comes loose in a box. I'm assuming that's what these are. Per the description, one taste of Ivan's nuts and you'll be transported to the front lines of the Russian separatist moment. So I'm gonna try these out. And the only way I can see fit here, which would be a handful of Ivan's nuts and a Mosinagant taken out my favorite target, soda cans.
I was nuts. <laughs> they, they smell spicy. Oh crap, they're spicy. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> I wanted to ground there. Try to escape. Ha ha. Got it. Woo. Got some heat. Definitely had some heat. It's not the spiciest thing I've ever had in my entire life. Not by a long shot. Pretty tasty. Look at those. Yeah, the focus. Come on, Cannon. Focus for me. Look at those. Those are just encrusted with spicy goodness. Now, if you eat a lot of spicy food, this is going to be acceptable spiciness. This is going to be some acceptable heat. You're going to enjoy this heat. If you do not like spicy food that much, this has got some. This has got some heat. You'll be uncomfortable. The first thing I do is go ahead and scrape off all of that lacquer that was on the handle. I gotta get that stuff off there before I start anything else. Then I use my $20 rotary tool that I got off Amazon. It's the best investment I ever made. And I go ahead and use that to reshape the blade altogether. Make it just, just thin out the blade a little bit. After that, I go through various stages of sharpening and honing just to get that blade fairly decent. It's not razor sharp, but it is decent now. And lastly, I spent about a week putting boiled linseed oil on the handle every single day and then of course wiping off the excess, letting it dry between coats. So really, this is what I'm usually using a hatchet for. And it works great for that. I'm not trying to take down trees, just make it easier to walk. Now, I'm still not a fan of the handle. It has the incorrect orientation of the grain. It is a horrible shape as far as having almost no palm swell. And of course, now you do have good grip with it once you get all the finish scraped off. And again, you can either let it age naturally with just the oils of your gloves and whatever you're cutting up. Or of course, you can put some boiled litzing oil on it and it will darken up and freshen up nicely. Top of the handle there, that has not done very well at all, as you can see. But so far, it has been rock solid. One of the other negatives is the fact that this hatchet does not come with a sheath. Well, I went on Amazon and I found this sheath here for $8. Super cheap. It's the cheapest one I could find practically that I thought would fit it. And it does just barely though. You're going to have to put it in there and force it in there and let it sit there for a couple days to kind of stretch out. That's the beauty about leather is that it does stretch out and conform to what you're, what you're forcing it in. So it goes in there. Perfect. And now and that has conformed to the to the leather, leather conformed to that blade. It's almost a perfect fit. It is a little tight when you're getting the axe out. You need a couple of pulls, a couple of tugs, it doesn't come out freely, it doesn't fall out freely like a nice Glock magazine. So in the end, for about 30 bucks and uh, several hours of your own time and effort, you can have yourself a nice hatchet with a nice sheath, which is still about half the cost of a Husqvarna hatchet. Great for camping, especially for car camping. Very, very good for car camping. Well, guys, that's it for me today. If you want to stay on the Deuce and Guns channel, go and click on one of these two videos right here, and that will keep you watching away. If you have any comments, questions, or a show it is, leave that in the comment box below the video. As always, there'll be links to everything I used on the channel, either in my Amazon store or in the link in the first comment below the video. As always, you guys have a great day. See ya.